Good morning. My name is Dorothy Doherty, and on behalf of the National Archives, I welcome you to today's program, the National Conversation on Rights and Justice, here at the historic Alexander Hamilton U.S. Custom House at One Bowling Green. Uh, today's topic is on women's rights and gender equality, such a timely topic for us to discuss today, and we're so excited that you've joined us. Just a little bit about the National Archives at New York City. We are one of 40 plus facilities of the National Archives across the country. Our office here in New York maintains over 150,000 cubic feet of historic, significant federal records. And our records cover over 85 federal agencies and courts. And they really cover uh, those courts and agencies from New York, New Jersey, Puerto Rico, and the US Virgin Islands. Our records date back to 1685 and of course come to the present and as you can imagine cover every subject in our nation's history, especially that of women's rights. Our records and the stories they tell are searchable upstairs on the third floor. So if you have a chance to go up to our research center, we welcome you to go there. If you can't make it today, please come back another time. We also have a learning center upstairs where we do our history talks, our author lectures, our student field trips, our education uh, or educator professional development workshops, and we have a number of other learning activities available for free. Visitors can also visit us in the Welcome Center on the third floor to see a display of original documents. And today we have a document display related to our Washington DC exhibit called Amending America. That exhibit really celebrates the 225th ratification of the Bill of Rights. And one document we have on display relates to a, a more recent story of a woman sports reporter sent out to cover the 1977 World Series. For us New Yorkers, we remember that. We remember that World Series. Um, this reporter was actually denied access to the Yankees clubhouse because of her gender. And she brought that case to a federal court, claiming that the denial was a violation of her 14th rights amendment. 14th Amendment rights. That reporter, Melissa Ludke, is right here. And Melissa, if you wouldn't mind standing for everyone. So, so that reporter is here, and we are so grateful that you came to visit us today. And we have a copy of Melissa's case file out on our discovery table out in the hallway. And uh, you too, if you change the rules, your records can be possibly in the Federal <laughs> National Archives. So her efforts is really just one example of the many documents we have that focus on women's rights for justice. And it is really a reminder of why it is important for the National Archives to have a conversation like this today. And it is important that we keep this conversation going beyond today. Uh, for those of you in the audience, you do have a, a, bro a program with a yellow card. We really want you to participate. So if you have a question or a comment during our keynote conversation or any of the panelists' conversations, please fill out that yellow card. And if you just hold it up, staff members will collect it. We'll collect it in a little bit. Um, but that is an example of the card somebody's holding up right there. And if you need more cards, let us know, and we'll come around with more cards. So at this point, I'd love to introduce our partner, which we are very proud to partner with, the Smithsonian's Amer Museum of the American Indian on today's national conversation. And this conversation is taking place in their gorgeous Diker Pavilion. We're so grateful for that partnership. So please join me in welcoming our next speaker, Daniel Lote, who's the Assistant Director for the Advancements in New York of the National Museum of American Indian. Thank you. 